Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena, and for today's video, I really, really, really wanted to try out these. I stumbled upon these at Hobby Lobby, and I've seen this brand used before, and I really, really wanted to try them out for myself. These are Aqua Pen Graphics with watercolor felt tips. As you can see, we've got the fine, we've got the brush, six colors, and to go with it, we have this adorably tiny watercolor pad. This is Master's Touch, which I've used their, just their watercolors before, and well, the watercolors, they're not the greatest in the world, certainly not the worst, but look at cute and tiny it is. Mm. Just love it. There's 12 sheets and I got it for half off. Bargain! Anyways, without further ado, let us unbox these. Eee, I'm so excited. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Wow. Ah, come on. There we go. There we go. There was one that had shades of blue and greens. And then this one had more of the purple and pink. So and the, all right, this is the one I went with. I want to get the other set too. So here we are. They look fantastic. And first things first. We got to do some swatching. Okay, so here's a look at the barrel. It clearly labels brush and fine. That's a good brush tip. And there's the fine. Although I don't I'm not sure if they have... Okay, I don't see any color names anywhere. Although at least the pens, the caps, they've got these little nubs on them, so... They're not gonna go rolling all over the place on ya. I'm gonna swatch. These out. Color goes down very nice. So I figured do some dry and then try some with water. Oh yeah, got another pen to try out. Silly me. Nice and heavily pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna finish swatching out the rest of these and then I will get back to you. So, just a moment. Alrighty, so here are the finished swatches. I think some of them blended and turned to water, if that makes sense, <laughs> better than others. Of course, this is merely 
the swatching process. The real test is using them in an art piece. So, let's get to that. So, I had this idea to do a polar bear after a funny conversation with my mom. To set the stage, we were at our local Winco getting groceries, and when I ask if we need another Coke Zero, uh, soda, not the illicit substance, anyways, my mom responds, do they have the bears on the bottles? To put things into perspective, it's that time of year where everything is getting a festive makeover. And so I just tell my mom, um, yeah, but you are aware that regardless of whether or not there's polar bears on the label, it's still the same soda. Without missing a beat, my mom just answers, I don't care. I want one with the bears. It was at that moment I realized that my mom has been mind swapped with a five year old. <laughs> so, um, that's why I'm doing a polar bear. As for the pens themselves, I really enjoyed using them. Due to being water soluble, your best bet would be to use them with watercolor or sturdy mixed media paper. I've noticed that when I use these on other types of paper, it starts to shred the surface. But I have yet to try it on actual marker paper, so we'll see how that works. So if I were to give the long and short about these pens, if you like the effects of watercolor, but want more control, these are definitely the way to go. In fact, they reminded me a bit of the uh, Arteza brush pens, which those of you who have seen that video know how much I absolutely adore them. While the colors were nice and could blend together, the, the limited palette, while it can be very tricky to work with, it also it makes you be creative. Would I like to try out a larger set of these? Of course I would!
Alrighty. Almost done. Just have a few finishing touches. My chair will scoot in. A little bit of gel pen. A little bit of gel pen goes a long way. Now my overall thoughts on the graphics aqua pens themselves, <laughs> I had a lot of fun using them. I really, really enjoyed them. They reminded me a little bit of the Arteza brush pens, which I really, really love. But they were different. However, I want to see how these work in conjunction with... Oh, oh my goodness. Excuse me. Mm. Um, take two. <laughs> Anyways, I want to see how these graphics work in conjunction with, say, the before-mentioned Arteza brush pens. Or um, even some watercolor pens color pencils or just watercolors I mean there there's options there we go don't really want a whole lot of gel pen just a little bit it's starting to get low I need to get a new one of these because these two they don't while they're still pretty full they don't really like to work on other things they're they're old. They're drying up, I think. I think that's it. Yeah. At least that's what I'm going to chuck it up to. Anyways. I forgot to tape this down, but hopefully you can get a good look at it. Nice and flat. These were a lot of fun to use. I am so glad I picked them up. I am going to play around with them more. I also want to play around with these... Just the, the markers, pens, whatever, themselves without any water, without any interference. So, hey, you'll know how that goes as soon as I post that video. But anyways, we are talking about this video. Speaking of video, if you like this video, please be sure to, well, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. I'm always eager to test out new art supplies, or try new techniques, or just play around and have fun. That's what we like to do here. And speaking of which, if you enjoy this content and want to see more of it, and just help out the channel, I will have a link to my PayPal in the description below. This is Silver Hyena, signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!